What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution x -Trom. Well, this is a test build as of right now. But this build will be like public pretty soon, I guess. So let me talk about it in today's video. This is the 4.1 version of Evolution X and the build date is 8th February 2020. The security patch is latest of February 5th, 2020. And here some things are really, really interesting. Yes, there are still some problems. But this build does offer some really interesting features. So what are they? The first thing what I'm noticing over here is this one. Let me unlock. And as you just saw, the fingerprint scanner animation is there. It, it works even on the always on display. And as you can see, the fingerprint scanner is almost like quite accurate and it does unlock 100% of the time. So that's really interesting. Let me go to the settings and show you how you can change the animation of that unlocking. So inside evolution settings, if you go into the lock screen, here of course we do get the FOD icon picker and stuff as usual. But let me go back. If you notice there is this FOD recognizing animation, you have to turn it on manually. Then once you did that, you can go to the FOD icon. Then once you turned on that, you can go to this FOD recognizing animation picker. So you can choose from these many animations. So we even have this. So right now if you unlock, as you can see, it shows the blue logo. You can also have this light one or this pop one. Pretty much all the animations like MIUI is there. And then there is this FOD pressed state behavior. And from here you can choose the color of the fingerprint icon to like cyan white. It was there earlier, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. All the features are there like the like brightness control and double tap to sleep etc. Everything is there but still there is no always unlock with fingerprint scanner as of right now on the latest builds. So yeah I do miss that. And talking about the themes there are some themes but in the themes if you talk about that header icon well I have like tried this header icon to change it to some color and applied it but right now as you can see it shows kind of a boxy look it doesn't melt into the like bottom part of the quick settings panel it was there earlier but right now this is how it looks so yeah but like i'm just gonna use the normal stock one which is this kind of look and i have been using the dark theme it has been working fine let me go back the stock camera and stuff is still the like MIUI camera. One bug that I have been noticing that my phone is in silent as you can see. And right now if I go into the settings and go into the sounds. And from here if I like disable the screenshot shutter sound. Even then if I take a screenshot as you can see it makes the sound. So yeah it is kind of weird. But in the screenshot we have this scrolling feature so that's good. Like if I go over here and scroll the screenshot as you can see. This is kind of a OxygenOS kind of implementation and it works pretty well. No problem with the longer screenshots as you can see it took a really long screenshot. So yeah. And some more new things that I have been noticing is that like in the Evolution X settings if you go into MISC we have this launch music app on headset plugging in connection. So whenever you plug in your headset it will launch your default music player. So that is a nice feature. And in the status bar, if you go into the battery style, here if you will find this big circle. I don't know if it was there, but I have been noticing it recently. And here, as you can see, you can use this big circular icon. And this is not the big dotted circle, by the way. This is just a plain circle. And I have the like battery percentage inside the icon. And this has been working great. And by the way, this like edge lighting feature, I have it turned on and like I tried to change the duration and stuff. But I don't know if it actually works. It did not quite work for me. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that like this feature may or may not work for you. The stock kill call UI still does not have the like call recording option and stuff. That's a bummer. But yeah, we have to live with it until and unless Google implements it in the like default pixel dialer. And the front camera LED and stuff should work. And as you can see, the sound even works if you have the phone in general mode. If you have it on silent, the sounds won't work. Of the camera but the leds work on like all the time google pay and stuff has been working pretty well here no issues with that the gcam 7 i have installed the latest version 2.2 i guess and that too is working fine so do not worry you can play pubg on hdr and extreme settings so that's not a problem and here is the end to score of this rom as of right now the battery life is pretty decent you can get about seven to eight hours of screen on time easily 
So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel now that if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.